Okay, so my name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and on this channel, we cover absolutely everything Shopify related from the code to the strategy. So in this video, we're gonna talk about digital downloads, the benefits, how you can implement it and how it's going to make you more money. So as you know, Shopify is perfect for selling physical products. It's not the greatest platform, however, if you wanna sell digital products. Now, some of you might have already figured out that digital products are a really, really good industry to be in or a really, really good addition to your physical products. Because if you think about it, you build your digital product once. So yeah, you have some upfront costs here. Uh, but once that digital product is finished, the overhead is almost nothing and you can spend all of your money in marketing and selling that digital product. So let's say you put your head down a month to build up some great course or some great knitting patterns or something like that. You focus on it for a month, then you sell it at 50 bucks a pop, like they say here. And that means you have $48, because 50 minus the transaction fee, to spend in marketing. That is really interesting. And then once you have that, you know, $48 spending in marketing, and if you can sell your digital product and maybe some of your physical products with it, that is just smart business at this point. So because we believe digital products are so interesting and should really be considered by pretty much everyone in the street industry, we have um, partnered with SkyPilot because we truly believe they have the best solution for digital products. Now there's a couple of things you need to know before we do a deep dive in the app about digital products. The first thing is, well, we just covered it. They're awesome. They're gonna increase your average order value. And at the end of this video, we're gonna give you some tips on how to get there. But the other main thing to consider is you want the least amount of friction when someone buys a digital product. This is very, very important when deciding which app or tool you're gonna to use to sell your digital products. Because if there is too much friction, meaning if it's too complex to buy your digital product, people are gonna pirate it or people are not gonna buy it at all. But let's assume you have a really good digital product, which you should, then people are gonna share it, people are gonna steal it, it's gonna end up on the pirate bay because on buying it directly from you is so complex. However, if the entire experience is frictionless, yes, there's still gonna be like the one-off person that's going to pirate it and SkyPilot has some safety guards around that, which I'll cover in a bit, but, you know, going through the hassle of pirating the digital content or just paying the fee and immediately getting the digital content is going to be what makes the difference for your success, yes or no. So you want the least amount of friction and that is something this app provides. So let's just jump into it and see how it works. Now, let me take you to my screen and kind of walk you through how we would do this right here. So first of all, you are obviously going to find and install the app from the Shopify uh, app store right here. And the first thing when you do that is you're going to see the dashboard. It essentially shows how many file downloads have happened in a specific time period. And by default, it's set on the last week. Okay, here we have these three main pages in the app. I can't say three, three, three. There's trees everywhere in my life. Anyway, the first page, I laugh at my own jokes, that's how bad it's getting. The, the first page right here is going to show you all of the products on your store here, and this is where you associate the digital files to the Shopify products. The next page is going to show you any order you have processed that have digital products on them. You can also see all orders if you want, but most people will want to see uh, only the ones that have digital products, obviously. And the last page is the file section. This is where you're going to essentially add files to SkyPilot. Especially if you have a lot of files, it's really easy to do it right here. So what we'll quickly do is we're gonna go ahead, uh, upload a handful of images, and that way you're gonna get a good idea of how it works. So I'm going to drag uh, this into the upload section nice and quickly. So the files are appearing here. This is just a really nice way to do things in bulk. So I've got a bunch of files uploaded and now I'm going to head over my products and I'm going to take the digital products that I created right here. Okay, so it says that there are no digital contents attached to this product right now. So we're going to connect the already uploaded files from just a second ago 
and we have a couple of options here. Uh, let me see. Okay, yeah. uh, we'll choose these ones. There we go. So there are now three files that people will get when they purchase this specific digital product. You see, I'm generous, three files. You can also connect a streaming video if that is something you're into, like for courses or things like that. It's very, very handy. These are just videos that are on our Vimeo account. So it's copying files between products. Um, there's an option here if you want to automatically fulfill orders after they're being purchased. Remember, you want to you know remove as much friction as you can. So this is a very interesting option in my opinion. Uh, and it's, I just think it's gonna just better user experience. Okay, also another cool thing about this app is you can sell essentially what's pre-releases. And actually a lot of celebrities have used this app for this exact reason. So you can sell a product that doesn't have any content and then in the future, you can start adding content. Or a typical thing I see is like, hey, you know, if you join my course now, uh, it's just the beginning of the course or it's $20, but if you pay it now, you have access to it forever and we're gonna keep adding stuff and the price is going to go up as time continues. So this is, you can do it with this app and this is really useful in my opinion. Yeah, it's my opinion. But then at the end, uh, you're listening to this video, so make sure to subscribe and like if you like my opinion. Also, a uh, side note to this, when you add new stuff, like because new things are getting released, uh, you can also notify all the existing buyers um, that have already purchased it. So that, that's kind of cool as well. They get an email letting them know like, hey, there's new content available in this. Okay, right here, you can look for the ones that have videos or without videos. So there's a few options right here. And so now that I got my uh, digital product and I got some files, let's just go ahead and go through the process. Um, I'm gonna go to my storefront. I'll jump into the catalog and find the products that I'll just set up. And we're going to add one to the cart. That way you can see what it looks like. Okay, uh, let's check out. And so when we search for this digital product, see there's a link right here. So you can customize the text right here, but it says access to digital content. So we click on that and it will take us to our download page. And so this is obviously where you can download the individual file. This is where the magic happened. Now this is extremely customizable, but I'll get to that in a second. And obviously you can see if you click on it, it, it obviously starts downloading. All right, so right here, that is the download page. Uh, if I head back into SkyPilot, we'll see the orders and we'll see that one was just created. As you can see here, what's also cool, it gives you a little bit of information, it tells you what was delivered, and it tells you it was delivered at least one time. Okay, okay. now that it was downloaded, um, let me tell you about the email notification. So I got an email also indicated that I have a file that I can download, and it gives a bit of additional information here in the email as well, as you can see. Uh, a couple of other things you can do with the app is you can head into settings and we've got some general settings right here, just talking about max download limits, um, you know, if, if it's a limited product, um, whether you want people to have customer accounts on Shopify so they'll be able to download like, with the account. And there is a few other things that you can customize, for example, in the email that goes out to the customers, obviously that that makes sense that you can customize that and you can change you know the words and the coloring and things like that okay so right here you can validate the your domain uh, if you just like it so when emails get sent out with dkmy and spf validate, you can set that up basically to be notified is anyone is potentially sharing out their download link with other people so if if someone buys it they get the email like you just saw and they're like oh my god max check this out and they forward it um, they can like the, the app can catch that. And I think that's pretty cool. So, so basically what this means, if, you know, I buy the product, I get the email, like we just saw with the download link and I want to tell my friend, so I forward it. So he also has access to the email. Well, you would be able to see that in here, um, and obviously block it. So I, I talked about it in the beginning of the video. You want to make the entire process as frictionless as possible. Um, but SkyPilot does have some elements to counter uh, piracy. And the fact that you can then uh, intervene actually is just means that he just, or he, the person that tried to pirate it basically just send a marketing email to their friend because it's not gonna work because you intervened. So that's pretty cool. Uh, right here, you can also check my IP address and see if anyone is abusing the link. So if multiple, like if the hundred different IP addresses come from that similar link, uh, obviously something's wrong because 
technically that would be a hundred different computers, although I'm oversimplifying it. All right, the team engine right here, it's pretty cool. And obviously, well, obviously, you can have as many teams as you want right here. Also important to note, everything about this download page comes with a few options, so that's quite nice. Okay, another thing you can do is go into the code as well if you want it. Like here, you can look right at the actual files and make some changes. Um, so yeah, we're gonna change some liquid files. If you wanna do that, that would be possible. So that's a really high overview of what the SkyPilot app is able to do. So quickly, as a little recap before I go on to the next uh, tip is, well, who should use it? Shopify merchant, business owners, marketers, agencies, that's kind of the classic target demographic, but you should definitely check it out if, if you're one of those. Okay, so let's go over the pricing. So the light starts at 0.25 cents per gigabyte of bandwidth over 20 gigabytes. So you can have the products at 20 gigabytes, it's free, and then everything over 20 gigabyte that people download, which is a lot if you're doing files, uh, it's a bit, you know, it's okay if you're doing very long videos. Um, then you're gonna have to pay 25 cents per gigabyte, which is pretty fair. The cool thing about the light plan is you get the streaming from Vimeo, like that we mentioned earlier, the integration with Vimeo and Skypilot is free, well, free is under the light plan. So it's not like a plus feature. Um, you also have one gigabyte of storage and so like I mentioned, 20 gigabytes of bandwidth. After that, the more you pay, the more gigabytes you get uh, straight off the bat. So for example, the basic plan is $30 a month and you get 100 gigabytes out of the gate for people to download. And then if you go over that because your product is very successful, you pay an extra 25 cents per gigabyte. Uh, and then there's also a little bit more storage. Then the advanced plan is $75 a month for 250 gigabytes. And the plus plan is $150 a month for 250 gigabytes. Oh, but there is more storage in the plus plan. That was this. Uh, the advanced plan has 25 gigabytes of storage and the plus plan has 75 gigabytes of storage. Um, so yeah, that's pretty logic. I mean, the most expensive thing in tech is storage and like, um, bandwidth, so it makes sense that you pay more per bandwidth. Now, now, what are some of the action steps you can take away from this video? I think that you really have to sit down, and first of all, if you were looking at digital downloads, as you already have some, and you were looking for a solution for Shopify, one of the action steps is follow this exact video, download the app, and just get started. If you don't, then this is the moment this week, and you know, go at the cottage, or go take a walk in the park, or at the beach, wherever you are in the world, tell me below where you are, and make a little list of what digital products you, marketing department, yourself, could do in your business, and could you sell it? And chances are that no matter who or what type of business you are, you're probably gonna come up with one or two. And then look at the return on investment, and it's probably going to be pretty interesting. Even if that's just an upsell at the checkout. Hell, even if it's a free upsell at the checkout, just to increase the client experience. You're selling knitting supplies, Free knitting pattern, digital download, there you go. That is a really good experience. Or why free, make it $15 and you just increase your average order value, which is the entire game in e-com experts. I hope this makes sense. I'll see you in another video. Ciao.